Are you tired of your opponent playing Ice Wall at one memory, going to zero then smirking before playing another Ice Wall, to prevent you from attacking at the expense of four memory? Does your opponent hammer spark to get that extra memory after a Gobumon bond to friendship to digivolve one of their tamers into Lobomon? Are you tired of degenerate memory gain in general? Try Mimi Tachikawa! For this Tactical Tuesday episode, Mimi Tachikawa is the sleeper tamer that isn't seeing too much play. But in that regard, Mimi can make your opponent's life a hellish pain, especially if she comes in multiple copies. And with Nationals quickly approaching for North America, we've already seen several players employ Mimi for extra shenanigans. Let's review over how Mimi Tachikawa adds extra oomph to current existing decks. Mimi Tachikawa will first give off the most bang for your buck in Gabumon Bond of Friendship. With so many option cards in the form of Hammer Sparks, Ice Wall, and Blue Memory Boost, you'll not only gain one memory from the Hammer Spark, but another one for each memory Tachikawa you have in your control. But while powerful for extension plays in Gabumon Bond of Friendship, Purple obviously can get equal gains from it as well. With Lilithmon Loop, there are still ways to jack rate and not gain one or two memory depending on the size of your trash, but another memory for additional shenanigans. With Mega Digimon Fusion still unlimited, this deck will see play for another 24 days before seemingly getting that nerf. But in all honesty, Mimi Tachikawa has some untapped potential in other decks. And splashing in any other deck can have hilarious countermeasures. When played against a Gabumon Bond of Friendship deck, your opponent can't necessarily bond, then spark to go into Lobo. Mimi just counteracts their Hammer Spark. Hilariously, if they try and play Double Ice Wall on you, the first one will just flip to your turn immediately. For red decks, if your opponent goes up to form memory for Agumon Bond of Bravery or Jessmon, even if they digivolve into their boss monster that turn and proceed to play Lightning Joust, a Delegate Plan, or Judgment of the Blade at one memory, you can effectively end their turn with Mimi as well. Sometimes not recognizing what Mimi can do can be absolutely game-ending for those colors. With this, this includes this week's tactical episode going over Mimi Tachikawa, and how it can be played offensively in some of the most aggro decks in the BT6 and EX1 format, or even defensively. What are your thoughts on Mimi Tachikawa, and will she be a sleeper tamer that's seen a lot more of? As a two-cost tamer option for purple, this could also spell a lot of sleeper potential for purple hybrids as well. As always, let me know your thoughts on how you feel about this tamer in the now and for future sets. This is Digipanda. Logging out.